Star Drive and Black Holes Part 1. An enormous black hole is the origin of matter as we know it. See it as a mass massive plasma planet. It's made out of uh, electrons, uh, actually gravitons, uh, positrons, um, and quarks. And uh, since a graviton is the same as an electron, it's the same as a gluon, we can talk, uh, see um, a big black hole as a quark gluon plasma, or a gra quark graviton plasma, if you will. Um, it takes just about forever to collect enough quarks for creating an entire universe. That black hole must, must be so big, every planet uh, comes out of it, so it has to be very big. And um, the quarks move in, in a stop motion fashion. So it takes very long for it to become big enough. Um, if, and the thing is, if, if some substantial object is anywhere in the vicinity, it uh, would accelerate towards this wannabe universe and smash it to bits. So we often see the black hole as a big ferocious monster, but it's also a sitting duck. Um, at a certain amount, when a certain amount, you can calculate the distance between our universe and other universes. Um, if you take a black hole, it will uh, explode, a chain reaction in, in the core starts at a given amount of pressure at a given size. So these uh, black holes are uh, very much alike when it comes to size before they explode. And even if a, a formidable black hole gets struck by a massive star, that star is still puny in comparison to a black hole. That, that's really one enormous object. Um, yeah, that's about it.